Well, I'm meteorologist Dave Warren. We'll try this again here. Uh, we are looking at our live camera in Biscayne Bay. It's looking off to the north and the dark clouds there. That's the shelf cloud ahead of these thunderstorms that we're watching in Broward County that are moving to the south. 90 in Miami, rain cooled air in Fort Lauderdale, 79, 88 degrees in Key West. That camera was looking right into this. This has been developing in Broward County. Still a lot of lightning as it continues to work its way to the west there uh, towards Miami Lakes. But this area is slowly moving south. It's just crossing south of the Palmetto Express. Expressway working its way east towards 95 in Miami Lakes. There it goes right down towards Hialeah. Slow moving storms could cause some minor flooding on the roadways here. This will not be around for long. Just the next few hours as this area moves towards downtown Miami. Still a lot of lightning with this around Miami Lakes and up towards Fort Lauderdale. That will continue to push off to the east. It's pretty quiet in the Keys and southern Miami Dade. Now that breeze is out of the southwest, so these storms get pinned up against the east coast here. That sea breeze does not make it inland, so these showers and storms develop there. That's what we're seeing in Lauderdale by the sea right now. Pretty dark and breezy. Southwest wind continues tomorrow. It gets a little lighter this coming week, so we'll have the storms pushing inland a bit. We're watching four areas in the tropics. No immediate threat to South Florida, but something to keep an eye on. Lower 90s with that delayed start to the storms and the southwest wind. Things really heated up today, dropping into the lower 90s around Miami and West Kendall, but there's the rain cooled air into the upper 70s, about where it will stay here this evening. A little area of low pressure moving off to the north, big area of low pressure up across the northeast. So that's where you get this southwest wind, and that keeps the storms along the east coast here this afternoon and this evening. We'll see a repeat of that again tomorrow. Eight o'clock in the morning, it's quiet, quiet at uh, noon, but there it goes, five to seven, right up against the east coast. More showers and storms developing. A little stronger ocean breeze coming back by Tuesday and Wednesday, so the storms push inland just a bit, and we'll hear a little wave come through the area here. Look at the moisture increase from Wednesday to Thursday, so that could increase our storm chances. High development potential as that moves off the northeast. High development potential that just moved through the Lesser Antilles. That's moving through the Caribbean. But we want to watch these two areas in uh, the far eastern Atlantic. Development potential pretty low in the next three to five days. The two main concern areas moving uh, south of South Florida and away from South Florida. 94 degrees tomorrow. The storms will develop that breeze south to southwest at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Two foot seas, light chop. But watch for the storms developing tomorrow afternoon and evening on the waterways. Temperature are into the lower 90s over the next few days with these showers and storms passing through the area.